Hey guys, this is Scooby. Um, he's getting a haircut. His hair is like that because I just went ahead and um, brush him out. But if you can see, his hair is pretty thinned out from getting, uh, you know, shaved short. As I was tell, as I always tell you guys, when you are shaving these um, type of hair, um, these dogs, you have to let the hair fully grow out before their next haircut. So if you have a Pomeranian, you want to shave it short, it, it's okay to give it a haircut, but you do need to wait for the hair to fully grow back, uh, all the coats to fully come in, and then give it another haircut. However, you can still keep bringing it to the groomers to get a bath, blow dry, and a touch up. But you have to get the hair to be fully grown back and you have to brush it while it's growing back. So hence the reason why you still need to keep it um, to take it to the groomers to um, get a touch up. Anyway, so I'm gonna be doing a number four uh, clip comb, maybe a five, I'm not sure yet, on his body. And then I'm keeping his mane a little bit longer. I've been working on him for a very, very long time. He is very sweet, except he hates when I touch right here and then when I touch his paws. So, uh, and this, uh, I'm making this video for a young lady who emailed us uh, via Instagram to do a Pomeranian haircut for her. If you guys haven't seen our other Pomeranian haircuts, we have two other on there where we did a modified boo, hair, uh, boo haircut. So check those video out. Anyways, uh, just please, you guys, thank you so much. Follow us, subscribe. Go follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, and uh, let's get started. ring finger I'm using that to push in the uh, between his uh, back knee to push in that little dip back there to make it straight so I can just um, take my clipper drop it down that the dog's gonna bite you, then use your groomer's helper. I highly recommend investing in a groomer's helper. They are great. And certain people have different way of putting them on their bar. I like it right here. If you watch all of our videos, the groomer's helper is always at this one particular position. I don't move it. It goes up and down and I do what I have to do on it. But some people like to have it lower, some people like to have it higher. I like it right in the middle. And it fits all my dogs, so. It's all about preference and safety, honestly. So I'm not gonna take all the hair off his pee, -pee. I'm gonna leave the little dick wick he's got going on. I'll show you what a dick wick is. It's pretty much when you do the sanitary and you leave a little tiny hair in the uh, at the tip of the pee pee it's pretty much it, it works great for puppies when they pee especially if they're not uh, potty trained yet you're able to know when they when when they go to the bathroom because you have the little drip just hanging at the tip so it's a dick wick i learned that from one of our groomers here Call it a day and go home. 
I, I pulled my back doing two Portuguese water dogs. Not just tiny little Portuguese water dog, big Portuguese water dog. Right now, I am wearing a back brace. I know, who, who, who would have thought? At the age of 30, my back is broken. So let's get to it. This job is very, very physical. So, highly recommend that you invest in a great, great pair of shoes and some mats. I don't like the mats on the Mexican tile that we have because, well, it's uneven, it's lumpy. So, I have some really cool ASICs that I got from my honey. So, I highly recommend investing in a great pair of shoes to do that. So I'm using a 40 to do the paw pad. If you guys know of any great way to keep my Andy's clippers from dying so fast, I would really, really appreciate it. I mean, I have so many Andy's clippers. This one, I, I got this one, I had this one fixed. I want to say three months ago, the uh, cord here was giving me issues and I fixed it. And then this one was giving me issues. I sent it and I fixed it. They're already broken. Changed the blade drive and everything. Terrible. So I started using this one. That was my other one. If you watch our other videos, you'll see it. Um, this likes to fly off, you see? So what I do is I'll take a little duct tape and just pretty much put it on there. But I mean, I'm getting tired of spending like close to $300 for these clippers and they, they, they don't last at all. So if you guys know of any great clippers, I'm not doubt mouthing Andy's, they are great, especially I have arthritis, so they are very light on my hand. But if you can recommend a better pair of clipper that can last me a good while, I, please let me know. Because I did call Andy's, I called in to let them know the problem and then the lady on the phone, she wasn't very nice. She simply said, you need to call uh, Amazon or blah, blah, blah to get to get them to take care of the warranty. And I was like, okay, well, my warranty says I have to call, the paperwork says I have to call um, Andy. She's like, we don't do that. So now I have probably six uh, pair of Andy's clippers just sitting there and I have to keep getting fixed. So pretty much every few months, I'm spending money to get these uh, clippers fixed, and it's not right. The clippers should last me at least three, four years with no problem. Sorry about the rent. Anyways, so for back here, it's pretty much you're just cleaning the edge um, of the uh, legs. Just clean the edges of the legs. I'm gonna move the camera a bit closer so you can see what I mean. trimmed the tail I mean he was here I want to say maybe two months ago and you can see it you can see the scissors from where I cut the tail they like the tail to be pretty short but again you want the Pomeranian's hair to grow back fully before you can give it a shorter haircut but these parents like I'm short so we do what mommy and daddy wants
at your grooming shop if you're not experienced. I took this off him so I can work on the mane, but he's a very good boy. I know for a fact that he's not gonna go jump off, but even though you think you know the dog, do not pick, pick that shit. I just do that because I'm, I know Scooby and I only do hair cut like that. Anyways, I'm doing a three on his leg. If you're half an inch and if you're one comb, it's also your, it's your 13 millimeters. I'm just cleaning it up just a little bit. And then I took, can you come a little bit closer? So I'm not taking the whole thing off. I pretty much skim on top of this so I can get that middle. So I this can get this V shape going. I'm gonna use my thinners to clean that up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead on the other side. So I'm not digging in there with my three, I'm just passing it. Oh my God, so my doctor calls me, you guys, so I can do a telehealth. I'm like, what's the whole fucking point of doing a telehealth? Yeah, they can send you a bill. I know, so they can send me a bill. And then when I went to get infusion, he says, hey, um, I want you to schedule two weeks from now for telehealth. I said, oh, I'm feeling fine. I, I don't need telehealth. He's like, no, 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 I, I want you to do it. I'm like, I don't want to. And then of course the lady called me. She's like, oh, it's because you got you had infusion. I'm like, well, typically when I get my infusion, I don't always make an appointment with him. No, you still have to do it. No, it's because you guys are slow. I know, I want to charge my insurance $175 just to see me. So on Monday, he's gonna call, he's gonna FaceTime me at 8 a.m. They, um, yeah, my friend's lawyer charged her $300 for text message. Yeah. She, re she responded to the text message and she, she said, oh yeah, blah, 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 like three words. She charged her $300. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm in the wrong profession. After I graduate this, uh, this semester, I'm gonna go to law school. Yeah, I'm already good with uh, criminal justice, so I might as well. So goodbye, grooming. Going to law school, going to apply. And as I was, you know, saying earlier, his hair is thinned out. It's not fully grown back to where it should be because he gets He's getting a, a haircut way too soon, but even though it's thin, you can still make it look fantastic. Now you can use a clip comb to uh, kind of clean up the mane a little bit. I prefer my thinners. So of course like this, I cannot put my hand on top of his uh, snout. I have to, have to pull him on the paw. My back is killing me. I love these chunkers, you guys. When the world uh, the world opened back up again, check out Ally Express for these guys. That was the best present I've ever, ever received from the groomer here. Actually, I lied. Shofa gave me this. Oh, I don't remember if I ordered that, but somebody gave it to me. I was very happy. Did you give me the purple curves, Robin? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, never mind. I bought them myself. I do love free stuff, though. You guys, I have a question. So when I first started grooming, I used to use a cover for my cord so they're not getting twisted. It's not mine who's getting twisted, but it's one of our other groomers here. What, can you please tell me what you would recommend uh, for your cord, for your clipper cord, so they're not twisting up 24 seven? Oh, the monkey cord. Not the monkey cord. We used to use the monkey cord and it turned out to be pretty sucky. 
Remember, and keep twisting. So we don't want the monkey cord. Be careful with those ears, by the way. The dog can flick the ears at a millisecond. So when you're using your thinners back there, please be careful. I'm holding him here, just using lightly holding him just like that. So I, um, so I can keep his head still because he doesn't like me touching the top of his uh, nose. Again, you guys, please like and subscribe to the channel and uh, just send me your requests. Go ahead and like our Instagram page, uh, Facebook page. If you email us on Facebook, we may not answer, but if you email us on Instagram, we will definitely answer. Scooby has to go poop because he just farted. So I'm gonna go take him for a walk. Say bye, Scoob. Say bye, Scoob.